U.S. President Barack Obama has made the war in Afghanistan a key priority of his administration. More troops and equipment are pouring into the country. So, too, is new leadership. We have not been able to fully resource our military effort in Afghanistan in recent years. But I believe, resources or no, that our mission there requires new thinking and new approaches from our military leaders. The new approach means General David McKiernan, now in charge of the American operation, is being pushed out after less than a year. His deployment could have lasted until mid-2010. Here's what McKiernan told Al Jazeera he said he needed when he first took the assignment. We are under-resourced. We need more military capabilities, whether that's from the United States, whether it's from uh, the coalition, or whether it's continuing to build the capacity and the capability of the Afghan army and police force. We need more security capability in Afghanistan to defeat this insurgency. Pentagon officials deny they're letting McKiernan go because he wouldn't or couldn't adapt to a counterinsurgency style of fighting. The U.S. strategy favored by McKiernan's direct boss, General David Petraeus, and used in Iraq in recent years. Also not addressed, whether last week's deadly airstrike in Farah province with dozens of civilian casualties had anything to do with McKiernan's downfall. McKiernan's replacement, General Stanley McChrystal, the officer in charge of secret military operations in the early days of the Iraq War. The capture of former Iraqi President Saddam Hussein and al-Qaeda in Iraq leader Abu Musab al-Zarqawi happened on McChrystal's watch. To be nominated as McChrystal's deputy, General David Rodriguez, currently in charge of American forces in the eastern half of Afghanistan. But I think these two officers will bring uh, a not just a renewed but a focus which we really need in 2009 and I just didn't think we could wait until 2010. McKiernan will stay in Afghanistan until his successors can win Senate confirmation. Left unanswered in Monday's announcement whether the new phase of the U.S. war in Afghanistan goes forward under McKiernan's watch or whether it will wait for his successor's arrival. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.